Hey everyone, it's Mari for Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be using the gorgeous Winter Gems A2 cover plate today for my project. You can see here that I've already used that cover plate on my white cardstock base here. That's an A2 size card base. I'm going to do some ink blending over top of this gorgeous cover plate impression. I'm going to use some picked raspberry distress oxide ink. Now you can see that I've also I'm also using my Be Creative mat here. From from Honeybee Stamps, I've just put my cardstock on that silicone mat and that's just going to grip my paper and allow a little bit more ease of, of use of the blending brush here because my paper is just sticking nicely to that mat while I blend. Now I'm just using circular motions with my blending brush here that I have loaded up with my ink. And I was kind of hoping to have a darker impression at one end of my paper and lighter at the other, a little bit of an ombre look with this one color of ink. And as I ink blend this ink onto this embossed um, paper, you can just see the pattern of that Winter Gems cover plate coming through. And I just love that. I think it's super pretty. It's a little bit subtle. It's not, you know, sort of like an in your face pattern. It's just beautiful. I love it so much. And it's just going to provide the perfect backdrop for my little scene that I'm going to be creating today. So I'm going, going to just finish up getting that picked raspberry blended onto my scene uh, background. And now I'm going to use the gorgeous Honey Bee Stamps Bee Shimmery Liquid Shimmer Watercolor. This is such a beautiful product. I love it so much. I'm just going to squirt a little bit of it out into one of the wells on my Bee Creative mat. I'll pick it up with a fine brush here and I'll just splatter that over my inked up background. And that's just going to provide some beautiful sparkle and shine for the background for my project today. So I'm just going to finish up splattering that on. I love how this color stays true. The shimmer is just beautiful. Um, it doesn't interact with the ink in a way that it takes on the color of the ink. It just really, that mica is just perfect. And you can just see that as it shimmers in the background here now that it's dry. Now I did use my A2 double stitched frames from Honeybee. I used the largest die in that set to cut out my panel just to add some detail. I'm going to be using the A2 Mountain Scene Builder add-on die set today as well for my project. I'm going to use this to die cut out some snow banks for my scene that I'm going to be creating. I will be trimming off the sides of this, um, of this die cut paper here. I don't need the entire width but I did want just an easy way to trim out some snow banks for my project so I'm going to cut out a bunch of these and set them aside for creating my scene for my card later so you can just see I ran those through my bitty buzz cutter and I will do that many more times and get those snow banks ready to go and set those aside like I said when I'm ready to assemble my card in the meantime, I'm going to use the very popular Winter Village dies. When I created this video, this die set was back in stock. So hopefully when this video is posted, you'll still be able to find these. These have been, like I said, really super popular. They are adorable. I'm going to be trimming these out again with my Bitty Buzz cutter from Honey Bee. I'm using some Concord and Ninth Ballet Slipper Pink Paper. And I'm going to go ahead and die cut out a ton of these dies from this pink paper and also from some Gina K lovely lavender paper as well because I'm going for a purple and pink color scheme on my project. I'm also just using my honeybee craft tool to help me move these things about a little bit and now you can just see here I'm cutting from that lovely lavender paper as well. I will die cut out a bunch like I said I'll cut a few pieces from white like the little pieces of snow the little bits of snow and that sort of thing and there is when you receive this there's actually a little guide to how to assemble your little houses they're really really easy to put together I'm not going to show you the assembly of all of these little bits but I will show you how this looks when it's all assembled together I'm also going to do some ink blending on my colored cardstock with my picked raspberry and with some wilted violet oxide ink and this is just going to add a little more dimension to those little die cut pieces so I'll add the love the uh, picked raspberry to the ballet slipper paper and I'll use the wilted violet on the lovely 
lavender paper. And in that way, I'll just add a little bit more of depth with these different little cardstock die cut pieces. And super easy to do. And it's a little bit, I find it a little bit less finicky than having to ink blend all of my pieces for solid color. It's nice to die cut these out of pattern or colored cardstock and then do a little ink blending but you can see how sweet this is when it's all assembled like I said this is you have a graphic to show you how to do this and I use some fossilized amber on a piece of white cardstock uh, and then I just die cut or just fussy cut out around the shape of the little house or the, in this case the little church and I just backed the whole die cut piece there with that yellow for the windows and then you can just see I added some white detail to finish that off and I'll basically do the same thing with all of the little or all three of the little houses for the project. Now I'm going to use some liquid adhesive here to add my snow banks. The bottom snow bank I wanted to be a little bit more dimensional so I'm going to add some foam adhesive to the top of the snow bank once it's adhered to the very bottom of my panel. I'll take the release paper off of those little foam adhesive bits and then I'll take the exact same shape of snow bank from the white cardstock and overlay that over top just so that that bottom snow bank is dimensional in that way. You could add this dimension to every one of the snow banks that you add to the project. I only wanted it to this bottom one and now I'm just going to tuck all of the subsequent layers of snow banks underneath the next. So you can just see as I'm going up from bottom to top with the snow banks, I'm going to just add these other ones just in behind the last one. I'm just using my craft tool here to help me get those underneath. And then once I have them all in place, I'll add a little bit of liquid adhesive to the edges of the paper. Now I'm adding foam adhesive behind each one of my little pink houses to the, I'm adding little, a little bit of foam adhesive behind each one to add some dimension as I'm adding them onto my little scene. I'm sliding each one of these little houses underneath the snowbank slightly so that it just obviously looks like the snow is in front of the little house. And now of course the die set includes these little trees as well, which is perfect. I've die cut out a bunch of the trees from the lovely lavender cardstock and I've die cut out extra pieces of the snow caps, which is one of the dies in the little winter village die set. Um, I've added those, those little snow caps to the little trees as well. And now I'm just going to go ahead and put little trees beside each one of the little houses, just using my liquid adhesive. Using my tweezers, definitely my reverse tweezers from Honeybee to help me with all of this little, uh, these little bitty pieces. I'm using some brushed silver cardstock. This is a Sizzix paper and I'm using that paper for my little lanterns. I didn't use any of the little wreath and bow dies from the Winter Village set just because of the color scheme that I chose. I could have die cut some little wreaths out of white and added them in, but I didn't feel like um, it necessarily would add to this specific scene that I'm creating, but you definitely could. I could have created some little bows out of either the pink or the, the lavender for sure, but I chose not to do this for this project, but I just wanted to mention that there's even more detailed dies part of the Little Winter Village. You could die cut out little wreaths and bows to decorate the lanterns or the doors of the houses, etc. But I just really wanted to go with this fun, um, fun color scheme here for this project. Now you'll notice that I also used the mountain that's part of the A2 Mountain Scene Builder add-on die set in the background. And here I'm using the this is a stacking art deco label dies and this is the smallest die in that set and I'm going to use that to trim out a piece of white cardstock for my sentiment. This is the home for the holidays sentiment set. This might be my favorite sentiment set from the release. I love it so much. It's gorgeous. The, the um, fonts in this are just beautiful. And so I'm going to choose a sentiment. I'm going to stamp out that sentiment with my Honeybee Stamps Clear Embossing Ink. And then I'm going to use some silver embossing powder over top of that clear ink 
the powder is going to stick to the clear ink. Then I'm going to melt it with my heat tool and that's just going to give a really pretty happy holidays sentiment for our project. Now before I add the sentiment I've put my card front in my spot box and I'm just splattering a little bit of white gloss spray from Dina Wakely onto my little scene here and that's just going to add that snow effect. I love how this looks and I'm just going to finish that up and now I'm going to add a little bit of my picked raspberry to my sentiment edges just to give it a little bit of extra detail. I'll add some foam adhesive onto the back of the sentiment and then I will go ahead and add that onto my project and my Little Pink Houses card front is going to be added onto an A2 size portrait top folding card base here in white. I've added a little bit of foam adhesive onto the back of my card front to give it a little bit of dimension and I'll just pop that onto my card base and that will finish off my project today. I'm going to add the sentiment and I'll show you some close-ups by holding this up close to the camera. Friends, I, do, I did link up to all of the different products that I've used today. If you want to shop for any of these different products, they are linked up in the description box below to the Honey Bee Shop. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you were inspired to create some little pink houses. Have an amazing day, friends. I will see you soon. Take care. Stay well. Bye-bye.